What's up XYO fans? My name's Chris and you're watching the XYO show. So a lot of questions have been going around about the bridge, whether it's important or not, and the big thing is how to make your own. So I've been commenting and posting on different forums about how you can make your own XYO bridge for 50 bucks. Now I'll tag all of the stuff that you'll need down in the description. The main thing you're gonna need is a Raspberry Pi. Now you're gonna need the 3B Plus to match exactly what the Bridge X is. For one of my next projects, I'm actually gonna buy a Raspberry Pi 4B and see if it works because they come a lot faster and I wanna just see if the performance works out to be better. So stay tuned for that. Now, other than the Raspberry Pi, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a power supply. I suggest getting a case as well. You're gonna need an SD card, and then you're just gonna need the standard stuff for setting up your bridge axe, like a keyboard and mouse, a monitor, ethernet cord, and an HDMI cable. Let's get started. First thing I suggest is having a couple of computer tools. You're gonna need your bridge case, you'll need a power supply, and of course, your Raspberry Pi. Let's get started. We're gonna start off with getting the case ready. Now, I actually bought this case because it has a fan that's built in. And if you watch my tutorial on how to set up the bridge, I mentioned how important it is that you have some source that's gonna keep your bridge cool. Now, first we're gonna install the fan. And that's gonna go on this top piece. If you get confused at all, you can see the instructions here. So you're actually gonna install it face down, just like that. One thing about computer parts, it takes a lot of precision to install the pieces because everything is mini. Tighten those up. This shows you if you want five volt high speed or if you want three volt low speed. This is a really small fan. And like I said, you can check out the other video that I did. I want this one on high speed because these get really hot. And the fans that I have going on my, uh, my actual Bridge X are a lot bigger than this one. So I'm not positive if this is gonna keep it cool enough but I suspect it'll be just fine, so I'm gonna put it on high volts. Next, we're gonna bring in our Raspberry Pi. Now, this also came with some heat sinks, and I'm gonna put the largest one on because like I said, this gets extremely hot. So real simple, you just pull off the, ad the adhesive cover on the back. And then you place it over the chip. You're gonna to wanna to hold that down for about 30 seconds. Okay, so next we're gonna assemble the case here, which is pretty straightforward. And you can see it has instructions that come with it. So we're just gonna follow them step by step. Okay, we set the pie in the base. We put the top case on, and that's actually gonna link in real nice. Boom. Love hearing that clicking sound, right? Next it wants us to put this underneath, and then it wants us to set the top case on. Now, we're actually gonna have to install these here, and if you read the instructions, we want to put red on pin two and black on pin three. This is for the high speed. If you want it on low speed, you're gonna have to follow the instructions and put it on pins one and three. So it'll be a different setup, follow the instructions for that. Next, we're going to take our four volts, and it wants us to insert them through the entire thing. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to swag out with an XYO sticker.
Now we're not gonna insert our SD card yet. What you're gonna to wanna to do next is you're gonna to wanna to take your mini SD card and you're gonna to wanna to plug it into your computer and we're gonna go and set that up by flashing the SD card with the bridge. Now I'll have this link down in the description where you can get direct instructions on how to flash the bridge. It's about halfway down the page. It'll be here where it says downloading and flashing a bridge X image. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna download the newest image. You can actually download it here on the website. It's got the link. You're also gonna to need to download this program called Etcher. I'm on Mac, so I'm gonna download it for Mac. And I'm gonna open it up. Now there is one extra step if you have Microsoft. Mac can automatically unzip the tar.gz file, but for Windows you're gonna to need to download something called 7-zip. And I'll show you on the screen here. You download 7-zip, and then all you're gonna do is you're gonna extract it wherever you want to. You can also open it up and drag and drop it onto like desktop or something like that, but the way I'm showing you here is the easiest way to do it. Okay, so once the bridge image is downloaded, you're gonna to need to unzip it. Luckily, Mac has a utility to do this on its own, so uh, if you're on a Mac OS, then all you need to do is double-click the file and it'll unzip it. And there it is. So we're gonna go to Etcher. As you can see, I have it open. We're gonna select the image here. Now, you can do this one of two ways. You can actually go to the folder and select the image, or Probably the easier way, you can just drag and drop the image. And this one already has me uh, set to pick up on the mass storage. We're gonna select that, continue, and then you're gonna flash. Flashing the SD drive will take anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes, give or take, depending on the speed of your computer. And then after that, just make sure you safely eject the disk, put it into your new XYO bridge, and then click the link down in the description to get a tutorial on how to set up your XYO bridge in your XYO network app. Two more things and then I'll be done. I don't know if all of you have seen, but I did just get my brand new Cool Wallet S. And this thing is amazing. I absolutely love it. I feel like it has been the best crypto wallet that I could have gotten, not just for my XYO tokens because it is ERC20 certified, but it is also good for all of your other crypto. It keeps it in a safe place and it makes it easily accessible while being a cold storage unit. So check out that video. I'll tag it up here down in the description as well. If you wanna get your own Cool Wallet S, I'll make sure that there is a link down in the description so that you can go and get one yourself either on Amazon or directly from Coolbit X. And lastly, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, there's another button as well. Feel free to use that. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and you'll keep getting updates on more tech, more XYO show, and lots of other things that are coming your way. Thanks again for tuning in to the XYO show. Catch you next time.